All right, here we go. Uh, thanks for joining, guys. We are going to talk about sharing your story, telling your story, and perfecting the art of telling your story. Um, this is a training that I'm doing right now, so I'm just trying to share the wealth with you guys. Um, it's something that I've started implementing, and it's working already. You guys know who I am. I am a top 200 coach. I am officially today, guys, five-star lifetime, five-star diamond coach, um, and that's because of you guys, so that's really exciting. Um, Success Club 10 All-Star and Mom of Two. Uh, just want to like remind everyone the June promotions we have going on. We have the annual All Access Beach Body on Demand. Um, so that is now including the performance line. So you can get the performance line or Shakeology. And we also have the Shakeology and portion fixed for people that already have on demand. The summer sale is still going on. They extended it. So feel free to jump in and get some cheap swag. We're going to Summit. And Cassie is now joining us at Summit. So, so far, people going to Summit this year are Jesse, Linda, myself, and Cassie. Um, if you want to go to Summit, you can still go. Message me. We'll, we'll get you there. I want to recognize the top recruiters this month. Um, I have recruited seven coaches this month. Jen Schaefer has three coaches this month. Cassie has two. Brooke has two. And Maggie has one. Um, I want to recognize Top Success Club. I'm at Success Club 18. Jen, Cassie, and Brooke are at Success Club 4, and Jesse at, is at Success Club 2. By hitting Success Club your first three months, getting selling three challenge packs your first three months as a coach, you earn a free ticket to Summit next year. So if you do that, you will be going to Summit with us for free next year. Um, the people that have earned this year's Success um, Starter tickets are Jesse, myself, and Maggie. Um, so this could be you next year if you decide you want to push for that. Okay. That's us out of the way. Now let's talk about sharing our story. Um, number one, always find a way to stand out in a good way. People go on social media for three different reasons. They want to be informed. They want to be educated. They want to be entertained. So those should be the three things that you are sharing every single time you post. Are you informing people of something? Are you educating them about something or are you entertaining them? Think of those three things and give people a good mix of those three things. Um, and find a way to stand out doing it. So don't just go and copy everybody else. Go and do something on your own. Like what, what makes you stand out as a beach body coach? Why would people want to come to you versus anyone else on our team? Show your face. You can talk all day long about eating healthy. You can talk all day long about um, working out, but if your face isn't in it, if you're not actually showing your face in your transformations, you're not you're you're talking about it, but you're not showing it. No one's gonna believe you. So show your face. Tell your story with your face. Linda is probably the best one on our team at showing her face and telling a story with it. Like she makes a lot of goofy faces in her pictures, but she tells a story with her face. Don't just have like the same smile in every picture, which I sometimes end up doing, but tell a story with your face. Like, are you dreading like life today? <laughs> um, are you super happy? Are you disgusted? Like tell a story with your face. It really helps bring life to your pictures. Um, use your kids. People love your kids. That's half the reason they follow you on Facebook. Use your kids. Um, share your story and be vulnerable. That's number three. Like that is probably the most important piece of the puzzle that I can tell you. When I stopped copying Nicolette and I started being Stephanie and sharing Stephanie's story, my business started to change. Um, I started attracting people and people started telling me like, thank you for posting that. Um, I don't know who, if any of you guys saw my live video yesterday talking about real life, um, that I signed two coaches from yesterday, from that live video. One live video talking about real life and being real about my life. So people on social media, you, you guys know me. You guys know that my life is not perfect. My marriage is not perfect. My kids are not perfect. But people on Facebook sometimes see that perfect side of my life and they don't believe me. Like, and the people that know me don't believe what I'm saying because they know me and they're like, that's not even real. Like, why are you even saying that about so-and-so? But when I'm authentic, they see it. And they're like, if you can do this and you're dealing with this, then I can do it too because I'm dealing with that too. So yesterday I talked about being on my phone all the time and Paul getting pretty upset about it. Are you talking to me, Michelle? 
What's, yeah, I'm sorry, my daughter. <laughs> okay, no problem. I thought I saw someone talking towards me. I thought you were talking to me. Um, so I was talking yesterday about um, um, the fact that I'm on my phone all the time and it pisses Paul off. And he said something at um, the dinner table about it the other night. And then it happened to come out on Facebook. Paul likes to post stuff on Facebook. So it came out on Facebook. Well, I was like, um, I need to... I need to respond to this, but how am I going to respond to this? So I responded yesterday through a live video and that live video was like me telling my true heart and telling like, so this happened. I don't agree with it, but this is what I'm going to do about it. So that post, I got tons of people, even on our team, like even on Nicolette's team messaging me being like, I'm having these same issues with my husband. So not only do I need to tell my real story, I need to like tell people like, okay, let's do this together. Let's work on this. Like, why are you coming to me? It's because I have the same issue and I'm trying to work on it. So other people are going to be attracted to that same thing. And that's just a really small example, but, um, show and tell about your post. Um, like show, show your post, make it visual, but then tell about it. You really, really need to explain it. So if you're like, had a shake for breakfast, no one cares. Had a shake for breakfast. And I feel like X, Y, and Z people are going to start to care. I have, I've had this shake for 365 days now, every single day, and people care. Hey, John. Go watch your movie. Do you want to sit with me? Okay. Um, if you talk about your stretch marks, your flaws, embrace them. When I started being real and not being like, I have a flat tummy all the time. And I'm like, no, look at these. I have rolls, guys. Um, people started to relate with me more. So. Be, be um, sharing your story and be vulnerable. Oh, come on, oh. So, okay, do more videos, especially live videos. Um, everyone in every training I've ever done tells you to do more videos. Some things that I, like some posts that were being shared, they were 38 second workout videos. It was like squat, do this, whatever. Like it was the different moves with directions in the post and these posts were going viral. Do more videos, do shareable content videos. So of course do videos like telling about yourself, but do shareable content like workout videos or meal prep videos or like making a, a meal and like making, editing it down to make it a quick viral shareable post. Um, but do more videos, absolutely be doing more videos. Develop your brand. Developing, I posted in our team page about um, a branding quiz. Take that branding quiz. Figure out what your brand is. Um, you, when you see my posts, you know that they're my posts. If they are branded to me, like you know they're my posts because they're they have my logo. They've got the same fonts. They've got my photo. You you can recognize my posts. I'm pretty sure any of you would agree that you can recognize my posts when scrolling. Um, you can recognize Nicolette's posts or Allie's posts. Allie is like she whites out her photos and such. Um, you can recognize these people's posts. So um, I, I definitely recommend branding yourself. So when your, people are scrolling, they're like, oh, that's Linda. Oh, that's Jesse. Oh, that's um, Michelle. So definitely try and brand your content. Share other popular content. If you see something from Weight Watchers that is a really awesome post, don't think of it as in like, scarcity mindset versus abundant mindset. Like you need to have the abundant mindset. There are a billion people out there in this world. Just because you post one thing about Weight Watchers doesn't mean they're going to go run to Weight Watchers. They're going to come back to you because that's where they saw that content. And it was like, okay, that's a valuable post. You're not afraid to share your competition's posts because of the fact that you know you are valuable. Just be sharing content all the time. Um, that is valuable to your audience. Um, Anytime that you get engaged, so some, some posts are going to go, like, get huge reaches. Anybody who comments on those posts or likes those posts, invite them to like your page. Invite them to be your friend. Friend request all the people who comment. Um, your posts should all be public. So when they're shared, you're going to find people that you don't know. So um, you'll be able to, like, increase your reach with, these pop, with this popular content. Ask questions. Comparison photos. These are huge for content um, generating 
type post. So which dress do you like better, this dress or that dress? Which picture of me do you like better? I need a new cover photo. I need, um, see what your fans want. Like, um, don't know what to have for dinner, chicken or beef. Do you know how many people weigh in on this stuff? It's so silly that they care so much. But if you do some photos like that or some posts like that, it increases your reach. And when you increase your reach a couple times per week, your other posts automatically get a higher reach as well because Facebook says, oh, people like her. People want to see her stuff. So your other posts are going to get a higher reach. Post three to five times per day. I know that sounds like a lot, especially for new coaches, but 10% of your friends are going to see your posts. If you have 500 friends, only 50 people see your posts. Yes. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. So just so that new coaches know this, because when, you, when I started under you and you told me to post three to five times a day, quite honestly, I thought you meant I needed to post about fitness or whatever three to five times a day. So just make sure everybody knows that when she says three to five times a day, you don't have to be posting about just fitness stuff. And I like, actually, yeah, I actually recommend not posting about just fitness stuff. People are going to think you're a total advertisement if you, all you're doing is posting about fitness stuff. So post about your kids, post about what you're doing that day, post about home improvement projects, post about anything you want. But once a week, what I suggest, if you have the time, get into that mindset that like, okay, you know what, right now I'm going to post. It is posting mode. And once per week, write a whole bunch of valuable posts out. So you have that content, put them in a folder somewhere. So you have them, you can do them. Um, I don't recommend using a scheduler, to, scheduler tool because of the fact that Facebook doesn't like it. Facebook will make your reach lower using a tool. So um, also look back at the content you've already posted. What have people loved? Recycle that post, like either do a new picture or do new writing with the same picture. What transformations have people loved? What um, home improvement projects that people love? Whatever your, the post is, look back and recycle some of your content. Um, and then keep your post safe somewhere. I use, uh, what's it called? Um, Evernote. I use Evernote to save my posts. And that really is an awesome tool because it syncs to your phone and your computer. So you get it on both places. Um, so you can be working from your phone or your computer whenever you want. When people comment on your posts, make sure you thank, respond, and ask questions to every single comment. And this is hard for me because some of my posts get like 100 comments. And how the hell, heck am I supposed to go and respond to all these? But it's important because every single time you respond to a comment and then they respond back and then you respond, you, like you continue a chain of conversation going, that, in, that every comment you put in actually adds to the comment counter on your post. So if a hundred people comment and you respond a hundred times, that means you have 200 comments on that picture. Facebook looks at it like, holy moly, 200 comments on that picture. They like her. So, and that's important because they're going to respond back to you back and forth. You're going to increase your comments on those pictures a lot. And if you post once on Thursday morning and comments are still going Friday, Saturday, Sunday, then you, that post is going to stay in people's news feeds. It's going to last a lot longer than just posting one time. Sorry, guys. Catherine's interrupting our call. Um, every post should give a reason to engage. Um, engage in your, engage your audience. So, um, like, ask questions. Give call to actions. Tell them to do something. Comment below with your goals. Um, like this post. Share this post. Uh, Comment below with your emoji, uh, whatever the case might be. Give them a reason to engage with you. Ask a question, whatever it is. And number 10, always provide value. Give, 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 give. Don't, don't be posting because you want people to sign up. Your post should not be like, sign up right now. Your post should be, what can I do for you? What are you giving to your audience? If your post said, hey, I need you to help me reach my goal. Or is anybody going to sign up, sign up with you? Of course not. But if your post said, hey, guys, I want to help you reach your goals, people are going to take that a whole different way. Like if you are showing yourself as helping others rather than you need them to help you, you're going to get a different response. Um, these were just a few ideas in the training that I was doing that people were doing. So someone had a viral video of video go viral doing five spices to use every day. 
they did some research on some spices in their cabinet. They sat there in their kitchen and talked about five spices they should include in their meals every single day. Things to um, give, and that is that something that people would share. Share that stuff. Go live and talk about these things, and then people are going to share that. Um, things to give up to create more happiness. What could you give up in your life that would make you happier? What, like, little things, big things, that was something that someone did a post about that went viral. Um, grab the local, the latest um, men's health magazine or women's health magazine or um, health and fitness magazine of any sort, shape magazine, and see what the headlines are. What headlines are on that cover that catch your attention? Talk about it. Go live and, like, talk about the 10 ways to get a better booty or whatever, like whatever gets your attention on those posts, go live um, about those ideas. Um, if someone asks you a question on your page, rather than just answering the question, start a live video and say, hey, Sarah, thanks for asking about X, Y, and Z. I decided to make a live video instead. Not only is she going to be like, oh, huh, she loves me. She made a live video about me. You're giving content to everybody. Everyone probably has that same question. Um, <clears throat> Another thing someone, every, I feel like everybody is doing activated charcoal stuff. I did a live video once with the activated charcoal peel. Um, people loved it, but that was just an idea. Activated charcoal, like brushing your teeth with it. Give your thoughts, what you need to do it, and how to do it. Put all of that in the comment, and then do a live video. And people share the heck out of it. Like, it's something that they can do home for cheap to whiten their teeth. Like, heck yeah. Squat challenge. Someone did a squat challenge that went viral. Um, it was an image and on the image there were like the challenge was along the outside and their picture was in the middle with their website. Highly suggest putting your face out there as much as possible. So if you're going to do something like a squat challenge and you're going to publicly post about it, she ended up making a free group out of it, but it was just supposed to begin with. That post got a lot of traction. So then she followed up with all those people and said, Hey, how about we do this together and hold each other accountable and did a free group with it. Invited all those people to the free group. I just think that that was a pretty genius idea. But um, yeah, that's it guys. 10 ways to share your story and provide value on social media. I'm gonna stop sharing and open this up for discussion. I'm on mute everybody. I got something. You mentioned yeah. briefly Evernote for like planning these kinds of things and like copying ideas from other people's posts and stuff and making them their own. Evernote is phenomenal, guys. Like if you're working on your computer, you add it. If you're working on your phone, you add like I can be at the grocery store and like randomly see something and be like oh, and put it in my like this might be a post I want to use. Like I put my scripts for inviting in case I'm out someplace that I'm like crap. Not existing. Kind of thing I wanted to invite this particular person. Like, it's so useful. Use Evernote. <laughs> Agreed. I'm sure people have questions. Come on, ask me questions, people. By the way, Maggie, your shirt is super cute. See, it's from Victoria's Secret. Is it a, it's a workout shirt? Uh huh. I love it. Okay, I'm going to bring up the uh, big elephant in the room, too. Um, nobody has hit success club yet. We are halfway through the month. What's going on? Tell me what the struggles are. Um, I'm inviting like crazy this week and actually using a tracker for the first time in months. But um, I don't know if it's like summer months. People are spending money for trips, things like that. But... It's a lot more crickets than usual. Like even as far as just regular conversation, it's more crickets than usual. So it's taking a lot more conversations and a lot more effort for people to respond. I mean, I've got a few people that are like, maybe, maybe at the end of the month, but I mean, I've yeah. invited well over 30 people so far and nothing. Um, what? Remember around Christmas time, I did. I know, they're up there for Christmas. And I did the. Um, yeah. Hold on, I can't. Um, around Christmas time, I did like the stocking giveaway mm -hmm. thing, and then I also did um the Black Friday deals. What are your guys' thoughts about doing a, a deal? 
Um, I mean, I've still been offering my own personal deals. Even when I invite people, I'm like, hey, and by the way, I can give you an additional small discount via PayPal, you know, until Friday. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. I have not had luck with like bulk advertising. Here's a little deal. Like at all whatsoever. I don't know. What, what's everybody else's take on that? Um, I was doing that and I was doing it when I was doing a ton of free groups. Who's running a free group? Taylor and I are running one. Is it running now or are you in process? Not yet. Not yet. We're, we're going to do it like either like maybe the 21st we're thinking of starting. Okay. So I would encourage you to start sooner because, well. Well, we were going to start it on the first day of summer. And then we, it would be done before the end of the month. Hopefully okay. we can get people to want to be in the next month group and we can advertise the um, three-day refresh that we're going to do. Oh, cool. Okay. That sounds good. Um, when I do my calendar, like I try to, I try to, I'm not doing a free group this month. I'm going to be honest. Um, but when I do my general calendar planning, I do my second week of the month is my free group because then I have two weeks to get them to buy because usually you know we're going to be like, I don't know. I need to wait for payday. So at least, so at least I've got, so at least I've got two, at least I've got two weeks or one payday within those weeks somewhere. So I know that like they have, they have time to plan. So that is something that I've realized works best is if I do the, um, check the free group the second week of the month. Um, did you come on the way? Jesse, how are you doing? I can't hear you if you're talking to me. Okay, hold on. Jesse, how are you doing this month? Oh, uh, okay. Um, not great. I will, I'm. I told you I'm planning on doing a three-day refresh, which is what I want. And hopefully that will boost everything. No, for sure, for sure. When I did the three-day refresh, I really, really talked about it. I talked about the fact that, like, who wants to lose three to five pounds in three days? Like everybody does, who wouldn't want that? And so then I just started conversations around that. I just tried to like put it out there as much as I possibly could. Talked about how my husband was doing it with me, got him to take pictures with me, we were being silly. Um, and just tried to just get some buzz going on around it. That's what I'm hoping. I never feel like I have something to actually talk about. So I figured if I can zone in on that, then I can have something to really talk about. Yeah. I feel like you do. You have a lot to talk about. Um, and I feel like you're afraid to talk about it. So, like, you personally, like, I think this is a safe area. You have had depression. Yes. You know how many people could relate to that if you actually talked about it? I try and do that, but I everything feels like it just ends up being a really depressed you know, post, and I'm not trying to make people depressed. I want them to realize that they'll be, you know, like, this is good. I'm out of it. So then stop posting about it and go live. I can't. Do my house. I can't okay, go then live. go to the playground. Go to the playground, let the kids play, and go live. Okay. And focus on the positives of it, too, because if you focus on how bad it sucks, which is, yeah, that's real. It really does suck. I know I've been there and there. Um, it is going to be depressing, but you got to focus on how has this lifestyle helped you recover from that? How do you feel now versus how you felt before? Are you, are you, do you have more energy? Are you happier? Are your moods leveling out? Focus on the positive aspects of it. That's good. Yeah, I would go somewhere. Don't do it at home. Talk about depression in your own home anyway. That's depressing to be in it. So let's <laughs> go out and go do something. Go sit somewhere. Go sit by a lake. I don't care. Go somewhere that's like cozy and cozy and just like that. That's what I would suggest. Like, and I feel like you have a lot to talk about and haven't. You don't even have a surface. Like no one knows your story. And I feel like if you um, pick someone on this team, you know what? I challenge you guys. Everybody pick somebody. And it, do go live together. 
you go live at the same time and you can invite the other person to connect with you. Go live at the same time and interview one of, one of the people. And then another day you could interview the other person, but ask them like, why do you do this? Why are you a coach? Who inspired you or why did you become a coach? Like what has changed since you become a coach? Like what are you hoping to share with people? Ask, interview the other person and ask them the questions of like, why are we doing this? Like I could tell you guys why I'm doing this. Two days before I signed up, I was in the lawyer's office. I wanted a divorce. And I would have never, I, I probably would have gotten one without this because of you guys. Like I have connected with you guys who have supported me and been there for me along this way. Like I, I just, I didn't have anybody here and I didn't join this for the fitness aspect. I joined this because of the community of people. And I bet you there's a lot of people out there who would be able to relate to me. And I can't for it yet. I'm not ready to. I'm not ready to talk about it. So I can understand that some of you guys might be, not be ready to talk about your deep secrets to the public. But the more you talk about them to us, the easier it's going to be to talk about them in general. So, like, keep talking about them and figuring out what your story is. Because it took me a long time to even figure out mine. Like, I'm still figuring it out. So, I still can't talk about it yet. Like, I still can't talk about my story publicly. So, um, figure out what your story is. Ask each other. And ask each other often. Because every time you talk about it, it's going to be something different. And eventually, you're going to be like, this is why I'm still doing it when I make $3 an hour some weeks. This is the same reason I'm doing it when I don't make anything some weeks. This is the same reason I'm doing it when I show up to these calls and like, I don't want to be here. This is the same. This is the reason I'm doing it because of you guys. Like, this is why I'm doing it. This, that's what I would suggest in terms of finding your story. If you don't know, if you don't think you have a story, that's why. People who've had huge weight loss transformations, they have a story. It's easy for them. But... What? Your kid behind you is on a chair in the cabinet. <laughs> I just saw him get a chair. That was so funny. And then he's <laughs> over here doing this. <laughs> on <his> head. <laughs> oh, silly. But anyway, yeah. So I hope that helps in terms of like, get to your story. You've got one. And I don't mean a surface level like, I want to be fit, gain muscle. No. Like, yeah, that's what I want. But that's not my story. That's not my story at all. I wouldn't do this if that were my story. I would buy Jillian Michaels at Walmart and fall off the wagon and get on the wagon and fall off the wagon and get on the wagon mm -hmm. without you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Okie doke. Anybody got anything? Nothing? Lee, are you coming to see me? I'm hoping. I still haven't heard from the plumber. Okay. I'm like wondering if I should call them again. I was like. We had a plumbing issue yesterday. Uh, legit, literally had to like take apart our sink and someone had like put air in it, like flow out, whatever was, I don't know. That's, I think that's what they're going to have to do because ours was, the hookups behind our washer was literally filling with water and overflowing down behind the, wa the washer. Oh no. And the sink in the kitchen was filling up with water. Oh no, so it's like not just one thing. Ours was a clog in the sink. Well, I'm thinking it's all in the kitchen. So I'm thinking it's something in the pipe is clogging it up and not letting it drain. That's not Good luck with that. So I have a washer filled with wet clothes right now. Never ending. All right, guys, I'm going to jump off and put these kids to bed. Bye-bye. Can you say bye? Bye-bye. Aw. Love the babies. <laughs> all the babies. Look at all these babies. Here, let's take a screenshot. I think everybody needs to be able to post. Linda needs to smile, though. Let me go get my baby. She's throwing raisins all over. I think Linda's frozen. My baby. <laughs> Look at all these screaming babies. None of them are even. Look at all these babies. 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 Look at all these babies
call, message me if you need help. Bye. All right, talk to you later. Bye. Bye.